Good morning, everyone. It is Friday the 12th of February, I believe. As you can probably hear from my voice, I <laughs> I am ill. <laughs> I've definitely got like a cold or something. I'm really stuffed up and I'm not very happy about it. I've literally had zero illnesses since this whole COVID thing started, um, just because I've not been around anybody. And Ewan was ill earlier in the week and I have now contracted whatever cold thing he had so i'm not happy about it i also have to film later like film a proper video and i'm like i'm gonna sound horrendous <laughs> so apologies for that um so yeah it's friday i'm gonna get through my day of work anyway because well i may as well because i mean i feel a bit gross but i might as well work because what else to do apart from sleep um, it's not like I get to go in and make anyone else feel ill. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and actually take the dog for a walk. Ewan's got a site visit type thing, but it's like walking distance from our flat. So we're gonna go and take the dog for a walk and he's gonna do that. And then I will come back and start my very rubbish day of work. <laughs> feeling, feeling awful. So I will catch you later. You have a sleepy poo. Mr. Man is having a nap. <laughs> and as soon as dad puts in the lunch in the oven, he's awake. <laughs> Labs, honestly, they would sleep through like burglars, they would sleep through an earthquake, food wrappers opening, absolutely takes them out of the depths of sleep. Oh, well, it does him anyway. Go for it. So, ignore the mess of nonsense on the table behind me we just seem to dump our coats there all the time now um i'm gonna have to get a coat stand or something because the place just permanently looks messier than it needs to um it's almost two o'clock and we've just been working away nothing too exciting we took a long lunch to watch wandavision because screw wait until the end of the work day to watch that getting really really good i'm just like on the edge of my seat with it um so loving that i think someone's awake are you awake good boy hi is you awake does you want your lunch you slept through your lunch time you're meant to have your food at half 12 have you ever slept through lunch before so he's gonna get his lunch and have to go out for the toilet and a walk probably but yes, so what was I saying? Yeah, watch WandaVision. It was super awesome. If you haven't been watching it, are you living under a rock? It's the best program ever. Forget the fact that I didn't like the first episode. Um, really good. We're going to have pizza for lunch because I'm lazy. And you and find pizza in the freezer we hadn't eaten yet. Sorted. Someone wants up. Um, it's going to be a few more hours of work and then I will catch up in the evening when I hope to be doing something more exciting. It is wretched weather around here. The snow has all become ice. Oh, switching hands because oh, that hurts. Let's look at the dog. <laughs> the snow has all become ice, so it is lethal outside. Um, yeah, it's just sheet ice, so walking is not fun. Oh. Walking is not fun at the minute because it's just literally one wrong step and you're on the floor. And you and like are in a manhole. So yesterday I fell down a manhole. And no, it was not one of those things where I was walking along, not paying attention on my phone and fell in a manhole like in the cartoons. Literally, I stepped on it and the lid must have been dislodged from the ice. So the lid flipped and I went down the manhole. Which is kind of funny, but I'm also a little bit sore today. Hi! Um, so yeah, Ewan pulled me out of the manhole and, um, yeah, that was, that was yesterday. So I'm a little bit sore. The ice is horrendous today. So I've nearly fallen about a million times in that. I've gotten, uh, my yard manager, my yard owner to do Dylan because I'm just not driving today. The ice is too bad to get out of the car park again. Um, so yeah, unfortunately we do have to take him out again. <laughs> Although I might just kind of keep it on the grassy bit near us because it is really... Hi! Right. It's really icy. I don't know what he's just knocked over. A coaster. Okay, I'm gonna get the dog out, get him to get to the toilet, and then carry on working for the next few hours. 
And then it's finally going to be Friday and it's going to be awesome and it's been a really long week and thank the Lord it's Friday. So, catch up with you in a bit. So this is what I mean when I say it's very, very icy. This is literally sheet ice. Right outside our door. Like, not good. We got a pee -wee. Come on, let's go. Good boy. Do you want your dindins? Do you want your dindins? Here he goes. Are you hungry? Good boy. <laughs> Excuse the tissue paper disaster of our floor. So we opened some mail today and the dog tore up all the paper. So that's what I've got to clear up a bit later. <laughs> Fun time. Get it. Hello. Hiya. <laughs> you gape. Good boy. So we had a sneaky nip to the shop to go to the pet shop before it closes. It was vital, obviously. And we might have got some Thornton's brownies. Mm. So good. Dog got a doggy muffin called a woofin, which he's just demolished. And he's got a yak chew, which apparently are very good, but it was very expensive, so he hope he likes it. <laughs> what are you up to, monster? As you can see, the place is still a mess. Hello! How's mum's work? And I have another hour or so of work to go. Yay! Hello everyone, it is Friday evening. I have completely forgotten when my last check-in was. Um, yes, to answer any questions, I am sitting in a cage. <laughs> if you've watched, um, is it one of my booktuber tag videos? I forget which one. I mentioned how I, uh, I film in a cage. <laughs> so basically, um, this is a cage here. Oh, you can see the pupper having a wee nap over there. He doesn't like to be too far away from me. He's going through a very, very clingy phase at the minute. Um, so he's very much in his mum's shadow all the time. So this is my filming spot in here. This is my bookshelf. So I sit myself down on this beanbag <laughs> and film in front of my bookshelves. Um, we have two bookshelves um, in the house and they're both behind bars at the moment because of certain pooper liking to chew on the books. He managed to get, he managed, he's managed to get one and tear it to shreds and we kind of just donated it to him because it was beyond saving. So that's his book that he gets to wreck. Um, but the rest of them are all safe behind bars because it gives me nightmares what he does to them. Yeah. I'm forever putting pages in the bin and it makes me sad. And I'm, I'm not even sure which book it was he got. The cover is gone. Um, I don't want to know. It wasn't one of my highly protected ones. So that's fine. But yes, I'm in a cage. Now, I'm not all, only in a cage to protect the books. Um, I'm in a cage because the guinea pig enclosure is in here. So it's a big mess at the minute because we need to clean them out tomorrow. So they've strewn hay everywhere. So yeah, so I literally sit in here, my bookshelves, I sit in here with my laptop and my ring light. Oh, it's a bit bright. Uh, uh, then the guinea pigs go in here at night time um, just to have some sort of more enclosed time and they kind of go in their snuggly tunnels and stuff and then they have their big enclosure and the guinea pig palace as we call it so they've got their little castle and um, there's Yoda having a drink in the background I'm not sure where Qui-Gon is oh I see some fur in the faraway castle door that will be Qui-Gon's bum um oh, nearly dropped the camera there so yeah I sit in here and film whenever I'm doing my book videos. I just filmed, yay. <laughs> I just filmed a video just now, as you can maybe tell from some of the ones that are here. This is, um, I'm doing, ooh, I've got hay in that one now. Um, this is a romance uh, recommendations video that I'm hoping to have up on Sunday for Valentine's Day. So I had a bit of a last minute inspiration to film a romance, recommendations video and then when I was putting together the content I was like 
oh, I haven't actually read that much romance in a while. I seem to have gone over to thrillers and things like that. And, ooh, get that back in there. There we go. So I haven't actually read that many romances in a while. Um, got plenty on my TBR, so I decided to split the video into two sections and do half the video and do half the video on five books that I've read that I loved which admittedly are usually or which are from kind of my collection here and are quite old and making me feel very old um there's, I was uh, holding up a couple of favorites that I had that I first read like 15 years ago and I'm like I am so old I turn 30 very soon so feeling a bit fragile um Uh, so yeah, feeling a bit fragile, and then I decided to take five books from my view booktubers that I watch all the time. Um, so I got a few recommendations from them, so that was fine. Can't believe I had to supplement my recommendations with my own TBR because I've had such bad luck and also sparse offerings in the romance genre for a while. Oh, shut my laptop. So I'm all tuckered out. I had to film my video. Ooh, I, I had to film my video twice. <sighs> so I really hope the second time is good. And I actually made sense because obviously a lot of the stuff I'd already said, um, I literally filmed for like 40 minutes, 50 minutes, and then realized that in the middle of my filming or near the start of my filming, um, Ewan had gone in to the kitchen, which is behind. I don't know. I could, I could turn the camera around and let you see, but I don't want to. Um, so behind, over that way, is the kitchen. And if he puts on the big kitchen lights, um, they shine through the guinea pig cage, and basically all the uh, guinea pig cage bars are illuminated on my face and pink top the whole valentine's day look this is as pink as i get it doesn't even really look that pink <laughs> i was trying to go kind of pink well not so much in the makeup i don't really do pink so i've got a little bit of pink in my hair tie and like i say i've got the only pink jumper that i own except for a really scaffy horse one that used to be my sister's i never actually bought it myself but um i i get things from my younger sister quite a lot so yeah um i don't own a lot of pink so i couldn't really do a very pinky look even though that was the intention um so yeah so that was my attempt at doing a valentine's day themed romance recommendation video i will link it up in the cards wherever it goes i always point in the wrong direction um so it goes where it goes um yeah so that's literally what i've spent my evening doing filming the same video and I'm very tired now. <sighs> I'm very tired now and I don't even know what time it is. No, I haven't got a watch on. And I can't see the clock and I'm filming on my phone. So I have no idea what time it is. Um, I'm going to guess it's somewhere in the region of half nine, ten o'clock probably. So I'm going to get up out of my beanbag. Probably with a great deal of difficulty because... Bean bags are great to sit on and then you have to get up and it's unattractive and clumsy trying to get out of a bean bag. Um, so yeah, I need to extract myself from my filming bean bag. And yeah, I might go get something to eat or drink or something. I'm not sure what I want right now. But I've spoken for like two hours at this point. So maybe some water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I have iron brew somewhere. I might have my iron brew because I'm Scottish. Oh, he's got a leaf off. I'll eat that. Oh my god. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> Nicely made bed and you think it's for you. Yes. Absolutely not. <laughs> so it's been a very productive morning um i have totally cleared the table oh shit as it was beginning to be known the jacket that was under the table because canaan likes to have a bit of a den under the table i've replaced with a sheepskin 
rug from his crash bit there makes it look a little bit more intentional and a little bit less like he's just dragged a jacket on the floor made a nest in it which was the actual situation um so that's good ewan bought me a lovely bunch of flowers this morning and obviously he couldn't resist getting some easter eggs because that's ewan um he's laughing in the background and then tidied up the desk area yes it still looks a little bit cluttered but that's life no point in making it look spick and span if you actually then can't find half the stuff you need keeping all this area tidy yes this place still needs a spruce but this bit's all tidy and the kitchen's all tidy oh my god i'm so happy dog is lying on floor looking ginormous will you ever stop growing and now is time for pancakes because i need a reward from cleaning everything Dill. It's a tough life, isn't it? Oh. So deep. It's been so long since anyone's been in the school. It is just, it's no drift at this point. Dylan is as high as a kite. You're getting ahead of me, boy. He's just jumping at everything. Just a bucket. Oh, I know, darling. You're going feral, aren't you? That's poops. It's just poops. It's someone else's poops. Yes. Come on. Dilly, what is in that one, you don't? Shads. I'm getting sick of this winter, eh? Bye bye, laddie. Bye bye, darling. You keep cozy now. Yes. You two don't wreck anything. You could probably tell by my freezing cold face. <laughs> it's very pink. It is Baltic here. I mean, it's gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Stunning stuff, but yeah, I'm over it. I'm over the white stuff, I'm over winter. Best birthday present would be to get rid of the snow. So if we can just get to like the 23rd and then all snow gone, that's the birthday present I want. No more snow. It is meant to rain this weekend, but I'm hoping I just end up just going to a giant ice slide. Cause that's not fun either. Poor Dylan had literal ice balls in his feet. Like, not just packed snow, like frozen ice balls. And I I bent my hoof pick actually trying to get them out. Thankfully, I got them all out, but uh, the hoof pick was nearly kaput at trying to get how 
the solid ice out. Poor thing was walking on stilts. Like, ugh. So at least he's fed and he's cosy and his feet are clear now because that must not have been nice. Um, poor boy. And now I have to go try and get my car out of the yard car park because I didn't want to get into it. Never mind, get out of it. So, yay. Gonna go do that and then head back home. Had a bit of a chill afternoon after my tidy fest this morning. Um, the flat's looking great, so that's awesome because when it gets all horrendous, it just makes me feel so crappy. So, having all the surfaces clear and stuff just makes me feel so much better. Valentine's Day woofing for the pooch. You want this? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> there you go. Ah! <laughs> you dropped it. Off you go. Is that nice? <laughs> I think that was a winner. Good morning, everyone, and happy Valentine's Day. I remembered that I was vlogging yesterday, and then a couple of my friends drove up behind me, and I ended up abruptly stopping and chatting to them and I forgot to pick up the camera again last night because that's just me. I'm not even going to tell you what Kane is doing to my blanket. What a monkey. Um, so, like I say, it's now Sunday. Um, as far as I'm aware, I was just rant. As far as I'm aware, it was just ranting about the weather yesterday. I can't imagine I was saying anything vastly more exciting than that. Oh, goodness me. So, I've got editing to do today, and Ewan's got work to do today, and we're hoping to meet up with Ewan's mum and Luna for a walk so that the two butchers can finally meet. But we shall see, but hopefully that is the plan and I will catch up with you a little bit later because I need to get stuck in to editing the vlog that I need to get up is up. Bye. So we are off. <laughs> that was the cage falling down in the back. <laughs> Mr. Wingy Pants. Can I yes, you've had everything. So we are heading to meet Ewan's mum and Luna for a walk. So this will be the first time Luna and Kanan have met. So we're very excited. And we're also switching out the smaller crate for the bigger one that Ewan's mum's got because he's getting too big for the little one because he's a growing, massive beast. Anyway, so that's us heading off and we will check in again once we have arrived. This is the star of the snow going. Oh, so we have a whingy dog who is cranky because he needs a nap. He played with Luna and then we had to go to the yard and feed Dylan and 
that was a bit of a trick. Had to fill Dylan's water up with canisters of water because the pipes had frozen again. So basically we're cold, we're wet, we're tired. He is overtired and needs a nap. We're going to start getting some other stuff done. Um, but yeah, we're glad to be home. And I don't know if you can see, if I hold it up very high, you can see grass outside. I have never been so happy to see rain in my life. Um, the snow looks like it's going to be on the way to melting. I'm very happy about it because I'm sick of winter and I want it to be less snowy. So that is an update for now. And I'm just going to continue to frost and check my to-do list for the day and see what else I need to do. So catch you later. You good boy. Hey everyone, that's me going to end the vlog here. It's Sunday evening. Um, I'm going to wrap things up here. <laughs> Little Booch is with me. Um, Nate. <laughs> what are you doing? No. I'm sitting here with you and we've been watching some Bridgerton. We've just uh, hopped onto that train and are loving it. Um, Ewan's not feeling so well, so cutting off the vlog here because he's probably going to need a bit of looking after the next couple of days because he feels rubbish.